families. I have a really exciting activity for you to do today. All these things are things that you might have around your house. And so I'm excited to share this with you. Today, guess what we're going to make? We are going to make a traffic light using all the materials that we have maybe at your house. Hmm, let's see what we need. So we were going to need a pair of scissors, a marker, a glue stick, something round like this bowl is a nice size, a bowl or something like that. I also have a piece of old nail, like an envelope that I don't need anymore. Magazine pages. Oh, I wonder what we're going to do with these. And the last thing that we will need is cardboard. Like the cardboard that you would get from a cereal box. I just cut this one out. Just like that. Well, let's get started. Because now we're going to make a traffic light. Now the best thing about this is we don't have to do it all in one day. No, we can take our time, find things that we really want to put inside or glue on top. So here we go. The first thing I need to do is draw a circle. I'm going to take my marker and I'm going to draw a circle around my bowl because I want to make sure that I have a round piece. All right, rounded circle. Mm, so I have a circle. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it, my circle out. I have to cut it out so that I would have a piece just like this. I can use either side. It doesn't matter. No, it doesn't. Well, let's see. Hmm, what else do I need? Oh, I know. I need to find some magazine pages or something like that that have colors. So we need to use red. We need to find colors that are red. We need to find yellow. And then we need to find green. So what I did is as I was cutting pictures out of this magazine that I got at the store, I found some bread. There's a piece of bread. Oh, I love bread. Let's see. Hmm. I have that bread and I'm going to cut it out with my scissors. Oh. Well, what if I don't have scissors? Sometimes we don't have scissors or we don't have access to scissors. That's okay. Because guess what we can do? We can also tear. <gasps> What a great fine motor skill, tearing. Oh, we can tear out the red. So I'm gonna tear out a piece of red. Oh, there we go. There's my piece of red I tore out. Oh, I just wanna take off a little bit. Oh, I ripped it too much. That's okay. We don't have to worry about it because it's all going to be one big collage. Collage? What does that mean? That means different pieces of paper stuck together. Oh, to make one nice big picture. So now it's the fun part. We're going to glue. We're going to glue the pieces. And as I was cutting, I realized that I needed the two other colors too. So I cut out some yellow. Yeah. And I cut out some green because the green was there. And, oh, and I have some red. And I just made little piles for myself. So because I'm going to work on my red one first, that's what color I'm going to use. Now, some friends like to put the glue on like that. They put it on their paper and then they glue it on. That's great. That's how you like to do it. You can do it that way. Also, with my toddlers, sometimes my parents like to stick the paper on top for them and help them move it around. 
move it, and then ask them, ask the child to pick up the paper and glue it on. Oh, I love it. Well, I have to fill this whole entire circle when I'm when I'm all done and it's completely filled in, like this one up here, I get to use that envelope that I showed you. Well, this was an old piece of mail. See, as you can see, I, I already ripped it open. I took everything out of it. I can't use it anymore. So I want to recycle it. Well, what can I use to recycle it with? Oh, I know. I can use it to make my signs. I need the word stop. S-T-O-P. Oh, well, in order to do that, I'm going to have to cut out a rectangle. So I will cut out a rectangle from this envelope. We don't need to have anything really, really big. And guess what? My friends get to write the letters S-T-O-P onto this piece of paper. Wow. Well, parents, you know what? You don't have to worry about how it looks. Our children are going to know what stop means or the letters because they're going to connect the letters and the colors together. So they'll know what it means. So if your child spells the S backwards, or it doesn't look exactly what you want it to look like, that's okay, because it belongs to your child and they're going to be able to play with it. They're going to sing one of our favorite songs with it, which is the traffic light song. So I'm going to write S-T-O-P. Wow. Hmm. When I'm all finished, I'm going to glue it on. Well, I happen to have one that's all finished. There's another great game that you can use with these activities. We used all the things that we found recycled in the house. So we want to make sure that it's okay to cut or tear before we put it on a circle. We want help making sure that we have the right colors. So sorting is another great idea. So we have the yellow, green, and the red. Oh, and then writing. Well, did you know that ripping and cutting scissors help you with the writing too? So that's why it's important that we learn to write the letters. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Well. You want to know what my other game was? I didn't get to tell you. It is an I spy game. So parents, what you can do is you can say, oh, can you find the letter B? Oh, I see the letter B right there. There's lots of really great things all inside this picture once I glued it together. Well, I'm hoping that you had a really good time learning how to make a traffic light. Hmm. Or a traffic light. Oh, 